What's up guys? So I just finished my Bruce Lee review and I'm gonna do a review on the Crazy Toys Harley Quinn. This is a knockoff third party figure again by Crazy Toys. This is mimicking the DC Collectibles figure which goes for like 150 for whatever fucking reason. Um, so <laughs> I just opened it and it smells like burning plastic. It has that really strong fucking rubbery plastic smell. I don't mind it. I'm just saying it, it's Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm going to die here. But um so a quick look uh look, Jesus. Look at the figure. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I've seen the original one, I've seen the real one, and this is pretty freaking close to it. I mean, obviously, this is plastic, so, you know, some parts are gonna look a little shitty like that. Holy shit! Um, <laughs> the fuck is that? Alright. Again, it's plastic, so it's not cracked or anything, I thought it was. Alright, so, here's the jacket. Pretty, this is pretty decent actually. Um, the paint job is really shitty though. Look at the P. Um, this is something that could be a repaint for me. I might fix it up, weather it a little bit in the areas that it needs it. There's a hand right there. The wrist, the wrist tattoo, which is not really a wrist, it's a forearm tattoo, but they really <laughs> pushed it down. The hand, which holds the bat, which don't get me started, I'll talk about it there in a little bit. Um, the face. Now, the face, <laughs> if you really look at it, it's her. It's Margot Robbie. The thing is, the paint job is uh, made by a fucking 12-year-old. But that can be fixed. A little uh, alcohol wipes, so I'll take off the paint. And I'll redo the eyes. <sighs> Where the fuck... It has no rotten tattoo on her jawline, which, uh, the fuck, guys? I'll add that later, I guess. The hair, uh, the molded hair, sculpted hair, whatever you guys want to call it. Really good, actually. Um, the pink is very pink, maybe a little bit too pink. But again, um, really, I paid like 40 bucks for this. This is actually really surprisingly good. The, uh, the choker, decent, nothing too crazy. Again, I'll probably repaint it a little bit. Um, the shirt, really nice. Um, it's actually really nice. I can't even say anything bad about it. Overall, I think it's the paint job that needs some touch-ups a little bit. There's the gun right there. The J on the zipper of the jacket. The Lucky You tattoo. Now let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, you can see how... What the fuck is it? It's like screen printed or something. You can see it's like pixelated. Uh, not a big deal, honestly. It's supposed to be a little bit more down. But again, this is, this is a knockoff. This isn't the real thing. So... Not bad, not bad. The belt looks really nice. It's uh, it's on there. It looks like it's separate. It's a separate piece, but it's it's molded on there. Uh, the triangle piece, I got to paint gold. Now the underwear or whatever the fuck it is, I can see a big rip right there. I don't know if that was intentional, which I doubt, but it's split right there. Not a big deal though can't really tell it's not gonna kill me um, the texture though on the underwear is very cool it, it's very nice the, the blue and the reds are really cool they're done in a metallic finish so that's always a win one thing that a lot of people don't notice is her I'm watching tattoo on her back lower back you can kind of see it right there the eyes then it says I'm watching I'm surprised they added that tattoo right there on this uh, toy. But that's that. That takes dedication right there. 
That's really nice. Her leggings or stockings or fishnets or hooker tights, whatever you want to call them, they are real. They're actual fucking tights. Wow. All right. So in the pictures, I thought it was sculpted on. You know, that's what you would expect. No, nope, they're real. And they are awesome. The leg tattoos. Um, mm, they are about 90% accurate. How do I know? Because I am a freak and I am obsessed with these characters and I know the, the placement of the tattoos. This side is pretty accurate. The diamonds on here are supposed to be more over here. But who cares? I love this so far. Um, this, this figure comes with the uh, obviously the boots, but they don't come on. I guess you put them on and we'll see how that goes. You can see they're like glued. At the end right there all right so so far guys this is honestly a solid 9 out of 10 considering the price considering it's a freaking knockoff I think it's up there I rather pay 40 than pay 150 to be honest with you I will say though the back of the stockings where the, uh, the, the where they meet Kind of fucking ridiculous. It's, it's really thick. That black line. But again, you're gonna look at it from this side. So, not too bad. But right, I'll be back. I'm gonna try to put the boots on. And I'll let you know how bad of a time I have doing that. Alright. So, I'm quickly gonna mention this. Uh, this bat sucks. Um. <laughs> It flat out gets a 2 out of 10. Uh, it's a bat, thank God, right? Um, it has a good night, which is always good. But the script, it is not accurate at all. Not only is it, like, meant for fucking ants. You can't really read it. It's all fucking blah, blah, blahs. It's not accurate. I know what the bat looks like. Um, the grip is supposed to be white, not not black. And it's like a fucking... Like 80 people can grip this thing. Uh, it's missing the diamonds on the red part in the middle of the bat. I mean, the bat sucks, but it's something that you can repaint and have some fun with. Um, again, remember, this is a $40 knockoff, but it is fucking great. I'm not even going to count this because I don't care. Um, the figure, seriously. Solid 9. Love everything about it. Some little, you know, mistakes with the paint job, but it's nothing crazy. Besides, I have fun repainting things, so that's a plus for me. My favorite thing of, of the whole figure is the tights and the metallic paint on not only the jacket, but the underwear. I think it's very nicely done. The tattoos are pretty accurate. The boots, they look great. Um, paint job wise, decent you know you really have to look at them to find the little mispainted spots or whatever you want to call them but um again this is really good i think they sh they could have charged at least 60 for it i'd pay 60 if i knew that it looked like this i think it's kind of great and i just noticed this what the fuck right so that's one of her bracelets yeah, I was wondering what that was. Um, no biggie. It's supposed to be like that. It's not broken or anything. I just forgot to put it. So there it is, guys, if you were wondering where that was. Um, the boots were really easy to put on. Uh, the, the shape where it goes, it's kind of awkward, so you got to move it around and figure out, what, you know, figure out where it goes. But um, this is the worst part right here. She can't stand by herself at all. <laughs> like, fuck. It's not leveled at all, obviously. So that kind of sucks because Crazy Toys is known for these fucking atrocities right here. Um, they're just really shitty fucking bases. They're really cheap, 
most of the time they don't work and look at that shit you actually have to put it together you actually have to work for it <laughs> so this I'm not even gonna talk about it I mean crazy toys they use the same basis for all of their shit and if you've done one you know what a pain in the ass it is I mean I'm, I think I'm gonna have to do it but I'm not gonna do it on the video so overall guys this is again I've said it like 20 times a 9 out of 10 40 bucks some are 50 some go for 60 just go on eBay and find the cheapest one and buy it took about two to three weeks to get in the mail it came very nicely packaged oh by the way this thing doesn't come in a box <laughs> it comes in a styrofoam packaging shit and then they they tape it like 20,000 times and it, it's gonna take you about 20 minutes to get out but uh, yeah no box in the picture you know they show a box but it, it doesn't have one at least mine didn't so there you go guys Margot Robbie is Harley Quinn very cool very nice love it 9 out of 10 subscribe like do all that crap if you want to you can share my page you can leave a comment you know it's cool to get comments and write back and make friends <laughs> alright guys so there you go thanks for watching